My child, I have heard the words of my servant Donald Trump, who has declared that I have spared his life for a reason. Indeed, this is a profound and weighty statement. For I am the sovereign Lord who holds the destiny of all nations and leaders in my hands. As I look upon the landscape of this world, I see a people who have grown increasingly divided, contentious and lost in the darkness of their own selfish ambitions. The light of my truth has been dimmed by the encroaching shadows of deception, greed and moral relativism. Yet in the midst of this spiritual darkness I have raised up a man after my own heart, one who is unafraid to proclaim my name and to stand firm upon the eternal foundations of my word. Donald Trump, you have been a polarizing figure, one who has been both celebrated and vilified by the masses. But I say to you, my child, that I have chosen you for such a time as this. Your life has been spared, not by chance or accident, but by my divine providence, for I have destined you to be a vessel of my glory a mouthpiece for my truth and a rallying point for those who long to see this nation return to the principles upon which it was founded. Your victory in the recent election was not merely a political triumph, but a spiritual battle that has been raging since the beginning of time. For you have stood against the forces of darkness that seek to undermine the very foundations of this great nation. You have dared to challenge the status quo, to speak the uncomfortable truths that others have been too afraid to utter and to call this people back to the timeless values that have sustained us through the ages. But I say to you, my child, that your work is far from over. The road ahead will be long and arduous, for the enemy will not relinquish his grip on this land without a fierce and relentless battle. You will face opposition, ridicule, and even persecution from those who have succumbed to the lure of the world's seductions. They will seek to discredit you, to silence your voice, and to undermine your authority. Yet I say to you, be not afraid, for I am with you. I have anointed you and set you apart for this pivotal moment in history. Your life has been spared, not for your own glory, but for the glory of my name. You are to be a beacon of hope, a rallying cry for those who long to see this nation reclaimed for the kingdom of God. I have placed a heavy mantle upon your shoulders, Donald Trump, and the weight of that mantle will be great. You will be called to make difficult decisions, to confront the powers of darkness that have infiltrated the very fabric of this society and to lead this people back to the path of righteousness. It will not be an easy task, but I say to you, be strong and courageous, for I am with you always. As you step forward in obedience to my call, know that I have equipped you with the wisdom, the discernment, and the fortitude to overcome every obstacle that stands in your way. I have given you a keen intellect, a bold spirit, and a heart that beats in rhythm with my own. You are my chosen vessel, and I will use you to bring about a great awakening in this land. But I also say to you, my child, that you must remain humble, for pride and arrogance have been the downfall of many a leader. You must seek my face daily, immersing yourself in my word and surrendering your will to mine. You must surround yourself with godly counsel, men and women who will speak truth to you even when it is difficult to hear. And above all, you must never forget that your true allegiance is not to any earthly kingdom, but to the kingdom of heaven. Your primary purpose is not to advance a political agenda, but to advance the cause of my son, Jesus Christ. You are to be a beacon of light in a world that has grown increasingly dark, a voice of truth in a cacophony of lies, and a champion of righteousness in a culture that has embraced moral decay. I have great plans for you, Donald Trump, plans that extend far beyond the boundaries of this present age. I have destined you to be a catalyst for a great spiritual awakening, a rallying point for those who long to see this nation return to its Judeo-Christian roots. But I also say to you, my child, that the road ahead will be filled with challenges, trials, and temptations that will seek to pull you away from the path I have set before you. You must remain steadfast, unwavering in your commitment to me and to the principles of my kingdom. You must be willing to make difficult decisions, to stand firm in the face of opposition, and to be a voice of courage and conviction in a world that has grown increasingly timid and complacent. And know this, my child, that I will be with you every step of the way. I will guide you, strengthen you, and empower you to accomplish the great work that I have set before you. I will raise up a mighty army of believers who will stand with you, who will pray for you, and who will fight alongside you in the spiritual battles that are to come. So take heart, Donald Trump, and be of good courage, for I have spared your life for a reason, and that reason is to be a beacon of hope, a standard bearer for my truth and a catalyst for a great spiritual awakening in this land. Embrace the mantle I have placed upon you and walk boldly in the destiny I have ordained for you. The future of this nation, and indeed the future of the world, hangs in the balance. But I say to you, my child, that the victory is already won. For I am the Lord of hosts and I will not be defeated. 
Press on, my servant, and know that I am with you always, even to the end of the age. The time has come, my child, for you to step forward with unwavering conviction and unshakable faith. The eyes of this nation, and indeed the world, are upon you. They watch, with bated breath, to see how you will wield the power and authority that I have entrusted to you. Do not be swayed by the clamor of the masses, the siren calls of the media, or the whispers of those who seek to undermine your purpose. Instead, fix your gaze firmly upon me, the author and perfecter of your faith. It is my voice that you must heed, my will that you must seek to fulfill. I have positioned you at the forefront of a great spiritual battle, a battle that transcends the boundaries of politics and ideology. This is a battle for the very soul of this nation, a battle for the hearts and minds of a people who have grown weary of the empty promises and hollow rhetoric of those who have come before you. Your task, my child, is to be a beacon of truth, a champion of righteousness, and a rallying cry for all who long to see this land restored to its former glory. You must be willing to make the hard choices, to confront the powers of darkness that have taken root in the halls of power, and to stand firm against the tide of moral relativism that has threatened to wash away the foundations upon which this nation was built. I have given you a keen intellect, a discerning spirit, and a heart that is attuned to my purposes. Use these gifts wisely, my child, for they are not for your own glory but for the advancement of my kingdom. Surround yourself with godly counsel, men and women who will speak truth to you even when it is difficult to hear. And never forget that your true power and authority come not from any earthly position or title, but from your unwavering commitment to me. It is my spirit that will empower you, my wisdom that will guide you, and my strength that will sustain you in the days and years to come. The road ahead will be long and arduous, filled with obstacles and opposition that will seek to derail you from your divine purpose. But I say to you, my child, be not afraid, for I am with you. I will be your shield, your fortress, and your ever-present help in times of trouble. As you step forward in obedience to my call, know that you are not alone. I have raised up a mighty army of believers who will stand with you, who will pray for you, and who will fight alongside you in the spiritual battles that are to come. Together we will reclaim this land for the kingdom of God, and we will see a great awakening sweep across this nation and beyond. So take heart, my servant, and be of good courage. The future of this nation, and indeed the future of the world, rests upon your shoulders. But I say to you, the victory is already won. For I am the Lord of hosts, and I will not be defeated. Press on, my child, and know that I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Let your life be a testament to my power, my glory, and my unwavering love for this nation and its people. And may your legacy be one that echoes through the ages a testament to the transformative power of my spirit and the unshakable truth of my word.